WWF has been working in Armenia since 2002. Our mission is clear to stop the decline of endangered species like Caucasian leopard, Armenian mouflon, bezoar goat, etc. When we began the leopard conservation project in 2002, very few people believed that there were animals in the country. But today we can say that there are more than nine animals inhabiting southern Armenia. We started at that time targeted project in Khosrov and Shikau state reserves. With assistance of Ministry of Nature Protection, we started also a project on creation of new protected areas. Arivik National Park, Zangezur, Hustup State Sanctuaries were created, as well as Community Conserved Area Gnishik Protected Landscape. In the northern Armenia, with assistance of the Ministry, Lake Arpi National Park was created. We take pride in the successes. We can count today, most notably, the return of a young male of leopard to his ancestral land in Khosrov Reserve, an area that has gone 80 years without leopard sighting. To reach Khosrov Reserve, this animal passed more than 170 kilometers to reach from the area where it was born to Khosrov Reserve. To maintain viable population of leopard in the country, it's not only important to create new protected areas, but also creation of eco-corridor is very important. And WWF, with support of German government through KFW, has been implementing a project on creation of eco-corridor in the southern Armenia. Actually, this eco-corridor will link all protected areas in the, in the southern part of the country. We also work on rehabilitation of fishes which became extinct in the country, such as Caucasian red deer. Uh, since 2013, we have been working on the creation of breeding center in Dilijan National Park, and three animals were brought from Iran, and we plan to bring uh, more animals from Georgia and Russia to create this breeding group of, of the animals, and then in five years period to release the offspring of those born in the breeding center to, to the park. We need to continue our vital mission for many years to come. But we are hopeful to not only save natural habitat and species, but also make behavioral changes in order to create new culture in the country where people live in harmony with nature.